how to determine the pole? Eh? Okay, let's see how to determine the pole. Eh? Uh, let's say, so you have a bar magnet and then you insert this bar magnet into this solenoid. As I told you just now, this one, the current will flow. Eh? The current will flow to oppose these motions. Eh? So the, the current will flow in such directions eh, to produce the north pole here to oppose the motions. To oppose the motions. If there is a north, this is north pole, and we try to pull it out there. Eh? Okay, this is a north pole, and we try to pull it out. Then uh, the solenoid will produce a south pole here, and this south pole will try to pull the magnet in. Okay, so that's uh, so that it's very hard for it to come out. Eh? Uh, that is the first thing that you need to know. Eh? Okay, now after you know the north and south pole, eh? now this one north pole, south pole, or this one south pole, north pole. Okay, then you can determine the directions of the current. How to determine the directions of the current? We can use the right hand grip rule to determine the directions of the current. If you know that this is a north pole and this is a south pole, eh? and the right hand grip rule tells us that the thumb, the thumb. Eh? is always point to the directions of the north pole, right? Uh, if this is the north pole, then you point the thumbs here, and the other hand shows the directions of the current. So this is the directions of the current. So then we can determine the directions of the current. Let's go back to the this, this let's go back to this tool, eh? okay? Uh, so if you use right hand grip rules, so this is your thumb, okay? And then uh, the other hand, right? This is your the other fingers, eh? The other fingers, not the other hand, it's the other fingers. Okay, so means that the currents go up, right? The current go up it's here, the currents go down, okay? Uh, then, you see, the galvanometer deflect to the left. You see, we use the right hand grip, because we know the pole, eh? then we can use the right hand grip rule to determine the directions of the current. The thumb point to the uh, directions of the field, eh? and the other four fingers point to the directions of the currents. So we know the directions of the current, then we know the, uh, the deflections, eh? the deflections, the deflections of the galvanometer. Now for this case, okay, in this case, um, so the pole is to the right, so this is our thumb, okay, and this is our hand, eh? so this, these are the finger. So these are the fingers, so we know that this point, point to the north, eh? okay, so the currents move down. The current move down and then move to the right, eh? and therefore this uh, galvanometer deflect to the right. So that's how we determine the directions of the current. For these examples, eh? okay, they already give you the north pole, south pole. Okay, so use your right hand grip rule. Tell me, the galvanometer deflect to the left or deflect to the right? Okay, now let's see. Eh? Okay, this is the North pole, right? Okay, so let's use a right hand grip rule. Eh? Right hand grip rules. So your right hand, this is your thumb, eh? this is your thumb. And then you just imagine that this is your other four fingers, right? So you grip this solenoid. You grip this solenoid. So this is the directions of the current, right? So the currents are. Eh? For this the solenoids, uh, so the galvanometers, the current move from right to left, and therefore it deflect to the left. That is how we determine the directions of the current eh, for this one. What about this one? So we have a north pole here, and when we pull it out, so this becomes a south pole. Eh? This becomes a south pole. So what's the, the, the deflections of the galvanometer, right or left? So the thumb point to the north. This is the south. This is the north. Eh? Okay. So the currents go down. So the current move from left to right, and therefore it deflect to the right. Right. So that's correct. That's correct. Uh, let's say this is A. This is B, and uh, this is C, and this is D. Okay. So we have done B and C. Eh? Now A and D. Which the directions of the deflections? For the galvanometer for A and D. Uh, 
Uh, so A, A and C deflect to the right, and B and D deflect to the left. 